I thought my antivirus was protecting me. But after testing four of the biggest names, Bitdefender, Norton, McAfee, and Malwarebytes, I was surprised by the results. One antivirus crashed a game. Another reduced frame rates by 25%. One bombarded me with annoying pop-ups. And one quietly did almost everything right. So if you're comparing Bitdefender versus Norton versus McAfee versus Malwarebytes, don't make your decision until you've seen this video till the end. Any guesses who the culprits were? Let me know in the comments below. But if you decide to try any of these out, I've actually left some special links in the description. They usually have discounts, so check those before you buy. First, let's talk lab setup. So we're comparing apples to apples. I used a clean test PC with an Intel Core i7 CPU, 8GB RAM, and a SATA SSD running Windows 11, which is a pretty low-end device by today's standards. While each antivirus was running in the background, I ran standard performance benchmarks, as well as a gaming test. I fired up Brawlhalla at 1080p with medium settings and measured the FPS with each antivirus active. By the way, when I say FPS, I mean frames per second, so higher FPS equals smoother gameplay. This way, we can see not only the protection statistics, but also the impact on overall performance. In addition to my gaming rig, I also reviewed independent tests from AV Comparatives and AV Test for more objective opinions. Starting with Norton, which has a well-established reputation as a reliable all-rounder. In fact, AV Test's latest June 2025 report gave Norton 360 a perfect score, 100% in protection, performance, and usability. That means Norton stopped every single threat without significantly impacting the computer. In AV Comparative's April 2025 performance report, Norton's overhead score was just 4.6, the second lowest on our list. By the way, the overhead score is basically just how much extra time an antivirus adds to everyday tasks, like launching apps or copying files. So lower is better. But that is, of course, in a controlled test environment. I actually expected to see a lot more lag and performance drops with regular day-to-day -day activities, but that wasn't the case at all. Everything worked so smoothly, I even forgot I had it active. In my gaming test, Norton barely budged with the FPS. With Norton on, I saw only around a 4% frame drop compared to the control. Another pleasant surprise was Norton's feature set. It's not just an antivirus. Norton 360 bundles a firewall, password manager, and even cloud backup. Visually, Norton's interface is clean, modern, and intuitive. Features are organized in a clean, modern dashboard, and everything is easily accessible. For the pricing, Antivirus Plus protects one device and starts at $30. Go up to three devices with Standard for $40, or five devices with Deluxe for $50, which is the sweet spot for most families. If you want identity theft protection, the LifeLock bundles start at just $100. Just remember, your first year is cheaper, and renewals can cost way higher. In short, Norton gave me very few headaches. The biggest shock, I was worried Norton would slow me down, but instead, it ran smoothly while still keeping my computer safe. If you're considering Norton, I'll leave a link below where you can check the latest offers. Next up is McAfee Total Protection. McAfee is one of those AV names that just screams mediocre. I honestly didn't even think it was worth reviewing at first, but then I gave it a try, and just like that, it became one of my top recommendations. The biggest strength of McAfee turned out to be how ridiculously lightweight it was. In the AV Comparatives test, McAfee had the lowest impact score at 2.6, which is better than Norton's. Even in my personal tests, system tasks like copying files and launching apps ran almost as if no antivirus was present. In my gaming test, McAfee maintained the FPS steady, with only a slight 2% dip from the baseline. So performance-wise, McAfee really impressed by giving me as close to a no-lag experience as I'm ever going to get. Don't you think speed is just as important as security if you're gaming or working all day? On the security side, McAfee also did well. AV Comparatives awarded it a gold medal for malware protection in 2024, and in tests, McAfee blocked 99.96% of the same threats that Norton did. Its detection is definitely rock solid. Its UI is clean and touch-friendly. The dashboard is modern and uncluttered, and made it easy to run scans or adjust settings without fuss. Scans are just one click away. 
And there's a simple status indicator at the top that clearly tells you if you're protected or not. You can also customize what appears on the home screen. So if you prioritize quick scans or parental controls, you can place them front and center. A minor disappointment, actually more like a nitpick, was that McAfee sometimes prompted me for things that I didn't care about, such as additional secure VPN or its tune-up tool. Not a huge deal, but the upselling felt a bit pushy at times. Plans start at $50 for premium with unlimited devices. It jumps to $90 for advanced with full service privacy cleanup and tops out at $200 for ultimate with $2 million coverage and full three bureau credit monitoring. Overall, McAfee is blazing fast and gives very good protection. Just get ready to receive a few pop-ups. Now, onto Malwarebytes, the absolute wild card of the four. Many of you know Malwarebytes as the lightweight second opinion scanner. You know, the app you boot up when something slips past your main antivirus. It's never really been a complete antivirus, so I expected it to lag behind the others quite a bit. But I was pleasantly surprised after using it. Let's take a look at the data first. In AV Comparative's latest malware protection test, Malwarebytes blocked approximately 99.5% of threats. That's a bit lower than the others on this list, but still respectable. In fact, Malwarebytes slightly outperforms some paid suites like Panda or Quick Heal, so it is just as capable as a full-time defender. In the performance tests, Malwarebytes performed in the middle, with a moderate impact score of approximately 17.3, indicating it was less effective than Norton and McAfee, but still outperformed names like Bitdefender. Personally, I would have expected Malwarebytes to have the least impact on system resources, since its whole thing is being a lightweight tool that you're supposed to use with other full AVs. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. In my very subjective personal tests though, it didn't feel like Malwarebytes impacted day-to-day -day tasks all that much. During my gaming test, the game actually crashed a few times. I saw a 10 to 15% drop in FPS while real-time protection was on. But when I turned on the play mode, things evened out a bit, and the FPS was more consistent at about 10% of the clean FPS numbers. One unexpected strength I saw, though, was how good the interface and features were. Malwarebytes is very simple and intuitive to use. The dashboard is easy to navigate, and it's where you'll find things like your malware detection history, the scanner section, and real-time protection. To run a scan, you just go to the scanner window and then advanced scanners, where you have the option of running a quick scan or a custom one. It automatically updates in the background and scans your system weekly without being intrusive. Its ransomware protection and web protection layers caught a few suspicious URLs I tested intentionally. Unlike some of the other AVs on this list, Malwarebytes doesn't come with a ton of bells and whistles, making it less cluttered and easier for beginners. That said, there are still trade-offs. Malwarebytes flagged 53 clean files as false positives in the lab test, the highest of any here. It occasionally quarantined minor utilities I downloaded, thinking they were potentially unwanted programs. Annoying, but you can whitelist them quickly. Malwarebytes offers a 14-day free trial, allowing you to try everything out with no strings attached. But if you do decide to go premium, the standard plan will cost you $45 per year for the base antivirus. If you're willing to pay 15 more bucks, you get the plus package, which adds in a VPN. And at $95 per month, you get the total plan, which unlocks the identity protection I talked about earlier, with $1 million in identity insurance and advanced social media monitoring. You can also pay $120 and get a license for three users with the Teams plan that goes up to 20 users. It's also worth noting that Malwarebytes doesn't provide a full system suite, so you may need another solution for things like a network firewall or email protection. Finally, let's talk about Bitdefender, the antivirus that, in many tests, takes the crown. And true to form, Bitdefender impressed me the most in almost every category. Bitdefender consistently tops charts, and AV Comparatives even named it their outstanding product of 2023. Bitdefender blocked 99.97% of the malware samples with only five false positives, the very best among the group. The interface of Bitdefender is polished and modern. It has a customizable homepage where you can set quick actions. There's an easy access tab where you can access different features and settings like the VPN, autopilot mode, and many more, which actually worked surprisingly well. That's pretty good so far. 
But remember I said Bitdefender impressed me in almost every category? Yeah, that's because it really let me down in performance. Bitdefender had the highest impact score of 25.1 in the lab. And I could definitely notice some slowing down while carrying out day-to-day -day tasks on my low-end test PC. And even with the gaming mode enabled, I still saw a 25% drop in FPS, which was completely abysmal. To be fair, that performance cost buys you world-class security. Bitdefender's real-world speed drain stems from its thoroughness. It actively scans files, memory, and web pages, and can even roll back ransomware changes. But after leaving Bitdefender on for a week, my PC felt a little warmer. As for price, Bitdefender's most popular plan, Bitdefender Total Security, cost $60 for the first year, which is a very attractive discount. But then you get hit with a $110 bill after a year, and that can catch some people off guard, so don't forget to always read the renewal terms. Other Bitdefender plans cost a bit more, like the Bitdefender Premium Security Plan, which is $80 for the first year, and a $130 renewal plan. It offers unlimited VPN and priority support. Bitdefender's current deal gives you a nice discount if you use our special link in the description below. Don't miss that discount. Ultimately, Bitdefender impressed me most because it gave the most secure experience. It caught nearly everything, and it's also got a lot of extras, which is nice. So, who ultimately comes out on top? Here's the summary based on my findings. Norton is the ninja. Barely affects speed, and is extremely lethal to malware. McAfee is the speed demon. The lightest on system resources, while still providing excellent protection. Malwarebytes is the specialist wildcard. It's the lightest in features, but can hold its own. And Bitdefender is the security heavyweight champion. It blocked virtually every threat, but had the highest system impact. So instead of one overall winner, think of it as four champions, each excelling in a different arena. The real question is, which one fits you best? If you found these results surprising, leave a comment and let us know which antivirus you're currently using. Also, check out our Bitdefender review for more info on its features. And while you're at it, we also have a video on the best cloud storage services available.